Metals with gold and silver traded bearish yesterday. We have seen gold dropping off from the highs at 24.84.85 towards 24.50.52 zone, while silver has erased all of the gains for last few days, where we have seen it reversing from the resistance zone at 31.4, 31.5, and it has dropped towards 30 dollar levels here. Can we expect this bearish momentum to continue today, or there is a possibility of a reversal? If yes, where to enter, where to exit, how to profit trading gold and silver today, we are going to see with the help of charts and indicators. This is the first update for the day and this is the only channel to give you two updates a day. The next update will be released before the US session, the subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification and join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel members if you are on YouTube to support the effort here. And friends, your every like, share, comment and share is a great motivation and support from me. So do like, share and comment. Let's start first to look into gold followed with silver. Working. See gold on the early charts has taken a sharp reversal here. It has dipped towards the 50 period moving average and it is trading with a retracement as of now. On the upside, see, uh, there are critical resistances here. Yes, you can buy here at 23.66, but then 23.74, 70, 23.74, 76, then 23.84.85. Very, very good resistances as long as gold stays below 23.85. Only reversal confirmation is about 23.85. On the downside, 23.58 is the first support, 54 is the second, and below that, we can see slight bearish test. If you look at the early chart, see this is the channel in which it is trading. Right now, also, you can see it has taken the support from the 50 period moving average. And if you look at this formation here, this is what it has done so far. If it breaks on the upside, it is going to deliver a stronger move. But so far, I see this as a retracement, not a reversal. Stock Aesthetic has uh, seen the overbought zone. MACD has seen bearishness that is trying to converge crossover on the buy side, while RSI is showing a little bullish momentum here. Coming to two hour charts, on the two hour charts also similar observation. Now see, uh, track the movement for gold in the last few candles here. You can see this was the divergent, it is converged towards 20 period, then a rise, then convergence towards 20 period, then since then it has just taken the support from the 20 period and shown this rise. Now again it has come to take the support here from the 20 period and showing a rise here. The next year is it is trading in the retracement. I will not see this as a re reversal. First, it needs to break beyond 74, 76 and then above 84, 85. If these two levels are taken, you can say that it is reversed and it will turn bullish here. If you look at the MACD, this is trading bullish so far. If you look at the stock ISIC, this is showing a rise. While the MACD, uh, if you look at, so this I was talking about the exponential moving averages. These are trading with divergence. Now, MACD here, it is trading with divergence and staying bearish. See, I have mentioned that, see, this is delivering waves here and it has crossed over at the top. So it can try to trade bearish. That is what has happened. RSI has also dropped from the overbought zone. Coming to 3R chart, on the 3R chart, similar observation, rise, retracement, support here, then retracement, support here, then rise and retracement here, support here. So now it is very, very important for gold to trade below first 2358 levels and then 23. 54 50 levels so till here it is going to get maximum support if at any point of time you see gold trading below 2350 we can take a selling entry here what is happening look at the bearish candle is one sharp bearish candle retracement candles are with the smaller bodies thus it could continue here for a while before taking a reversal the stock is rising from the bottom look at MACD. this is crossed over at the top this is trading with divergence is staying bearish looking downwards if you look at three hour charts first second and third now see this is trading yet bullish but i can say this is the third attempt it is taken for a reversal so possibly this could continue here on the downside means more bearishness may prevail rsi rising coming to four on the four hour charts it appears it has formed a very very good base here at 2458 with that as base it is trying to form a symmetry i will wait for the next candle if you see it is staying about 2466 you can buy here and expect 2470 First target zone 74, 76, the next, and beyond that, it can try to trade further bullish towards 24, 80, 85 levels. Any movement beyond 24, 85, just stay bullish. Though I can see this as a retracement, not a reversal. You can see the divergence of the price from the 20 period. Where is the 20 period moving average sitting as of now? 24, 45, 40 zone here. The stock ISTIC has dropped, trying to bounce back. The MACD, look at MACD, it has just crossed over. And it is lot much of downside available. See, look at this. What has happened here at the peak? A sharp drop. Then what is happened here at the peak? A sharp drop. Now again, this is a sharp drop. Now this is crossed over at the top. So this suggests that it can deliver more bearish momentum from the current levels. 
RSI has come out of the overbought zone. Coming to daily, before we look into daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, join my mentorship batch. And if you just want to trade as per the signals, you can be part of my signals channel on Telegram. We are trading as per the signals, you can benefit. Write an email or ping me on Telegram for your queries related to the services. And those who are looking forward to a broker where you can trade all the global instruments and which offers a safe fee account with lowest spreads and no hidden charge, you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. Now, look at the daily charts and track the movement here. See, uh, first of all, it was trading bearish here and uh, formed a nice flag. It has given a breakout and since the breakout, it has hit the all-time highs here. Now, see, moving averages are trading with divergence looking upwards. So now, track the movement. One greener candle, consolidation. Another greener candle, then a bit of consolidation. And after hitting the highs, it has formed the support here at 2350. We have seen it rising. Now, see, forming the support here at 2350, greener candles, retracement or flat bottom 2400 first base then a stronger bullish candle here so after every couple of bullish candle it tries to show a retracement candle now thus today if you see gold trading below 2458 we can expect a slight bearishness and any move below 2450 might take it towards 2440 and lower levels possibility is there why you can see uh, first of all for one bearish candle the couple of bearish candles it may take for it to uh, erase some of the gains and move towards 2440 Second is yes, it was trading outside bullish, and third is uh, possible it can as long as 2480 85 zone is not taken, you should not be trading this as bullish. Be careful, it can reverse as long as 2480 85 is not taken. The stock ISTK, if you look at this, is overbought. Look at MACD, this is trading with divergence, this is staying bullish, and remember, it has a lot much of upside available for it. On the uh, you can see this. It is trading with divergence and if it continues to towards the peak, it can in fact move beyond 2500. RSI is overbought. So looking at this very simple, ideally we should wait for 2476 and 85 levels, but this is a far beyond level. So yes, you can buy here at 2466, but be careful of 2470, 2474, 76 and then 2480 and then 2485. Very, very nearby resistance is almost 40, 50 points every uh, steps it is place the resistance here once it breaks beyond 2484-85 just stay bullish we are looking forward to 2491 and 2500 levels on the downside a selling entry i will recommend is at 2458 and if you are selling at 2458 2454 2450 two stronger support levels below that 2444-45 and if it breaks 2444-45 we can in fact expect it to move towards 2430-2420 zone take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at See what silver has done here yesterday is it has plummeted from the resistance here at 31.4, 31.5 on the early charts that it is delivering a uh, head and shoulders here. And if you look at what has happened here post the rise here or pre before the rise, it has moved towards 30, 60, 30, 70 zone. So now if you look at the early charts here, it can try to retrace towards 30, 60, 30, 70 zone, which is going to be a critical resistance here and prices might try to dip from these levels. In fact, I will recommend, see, 30, 40, 30, 50 zone, 30, 60 zone, which I have mentioned always that it is going to remain a great support. It has breached this zone. So if it can fall back once, means if you see the lower price is above 30, 40, you can take a buying entry. However, 30, 50, 30, 60 should be a good resistance. Beyond 30, 60, we can expect it to move towards 30, 75, 80. And beyond that, more bullish momentum may prevail. See, stock has to get the top. MACD is on the verge of a crossover for the bullishness here. RSI has come out of the oversold zone. Likewise, on the two hour charts, after the drop, it is under retracement. It could retrace further beyond 30, 40, little bullish momentum towards 30, 60, 30, 80 can be expected. Any move beyond 31 is a sign of reversal. The stock has rising. The MACD is bearish trying to converge and RSI is showing a little rise here. On the three hour charts, see on the three hour chart, possibly as long as it stays below 30, 60, this could be a reversal sign and it could continue to trade bearish and plummet sharply from the current levels while the stock is rising from the oversold zone macd is bearish rsi is running flat here on the four hour charts it has formed a tail it could try to bounce back thus once it stays above 30 40 we can expect a little rise a little retracement towards 30 60 30 80 zone and beyond this this should be treated for a reversal the stock is oversold macd is bearish rsi is running flat here coming to daily now see on the daily charts it was trading bullish here look at this uh, flat top was seen and increasing bearishness so this is an expanding triangle here for silver 
and if you look at the current movement here it is already formed a tail for the day and it is trying to bounce back so once it stays beyond 30 40 levels uh, and 3060 levels you can say it can try to erase some of the losses from yesterday in fact it can move towards 3080 31 now why there could be bullishness see the rise nice flag formation the base here at 2880 29 and since then the breakout so it suggests that there is still further bullishness available here in silver stochastic rising MACD is still crossed over just crossed over here on the daily charts and it is a bearish sign and RSI has dropped as well so looking at this I will recommend you to sell here at 3020 levels remember 3020 30 is now going to be the next support here below 30 dollar levels we can expect 2975 2950 as well but right now it is not uh, uh, suggestive of such a strong movement however Remember the break yesterday was stronger and if it continues today with the same momentum it is going to deliver a massive blow which can in fact take it towards 29 as well. We have to be watchful cautious here. On the upside you can buy here at 3040 but it has to be a careful uh, trade because uh, we know 3050, 3060 should be a good resistance then 3075, 80 and then 31. Only above 31 there could be bullishness here in silver where we can look forward to 3120, 3150 and higher levels. So take your positions accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment, join my mentorship badge, join my Signals channel, reach out to me for your queries related to the services, join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel membership here on YouTube to support the effort. Thank you, have a great profitable trading day, see you again before the US session with more updates, more details. Thank